Hello everybody and welcome to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. This is a game on Steam that is a horde survival game with a set time limit. I haven't played this game in quite a while so I'm going to play Diamond today. The nice thing about Diamond is that they start with a bunch of health and we're going to use the shotgun because a lot of Diamond's abilities um, tend to prefer close combat. I'm also using the rune that gives you extra damage for being in close. Uh, glass cannon because Diamond has so much health that going down to half isn't as big of a deal. And then um, just some defensive stuff to help me not die immediately. So let's jump into the game. I'm going to play it on the hardest difficulty, which I probably shouldn't, but you get achievements for the hardest difficulty. And, uh, you know, the video doesn't go to 20 minutes, whatever. So the main thing I wanted to kind of try out, and the reason why I want to do this build today, is there is a new item called Smite that kills enemies within your vision range once you reload. So I figured the two shots of the shotgun combined with the extra benefits Diamond typically has for short range will work really well with Smite. Fortunately, we haven't gotten it yet, but I think probably getting some, some something that slows enemies might be a big deal as later in the game, there's gonna be tons of them and being able to kind of like freeze them and push them back a little bit, create a hallway might be uh, the move. But hopefully we get Smite as quickly as possible, as I imagine that's going to be our main damage dealer. Um, they've also added curses to the game, which I believe do, after a period of time, whatever damage your weapon normally does, it does it again to the enemy. Um, which could be good because the shotgun has a pretty, pretty high base damage. It's not the best, but uh, you know, it's it's higher than like a machine gun would be. Let's start the game. Still pretty easy. Um, if you get this game and you start playing it, those enemies will be moving slower. The first dude I want to fire. Uh, we'll do the speed buff. The enemies will be moving a little bit slower. Um, as you go up in difficulties, up to difficulty 15, the enemies tend to get faster and hit harder. So you might find when first starting out this game that the enemies are a lot slower. And that's good because, you know, you're not going to have all the runes and all the upgrades um, the first few times you play the game. So I think the progression kind of goes well with as you unlock the runes, making the game fun even when you're first starting out. Dang, we still don't have the item I want. So with the shotguns, actually doing this route is really good because it makes the, the spread go farther. Sniper works really well at making sure that the shots actually go outside your vision range so that can be really nice alternatively just higher damage shots are always you know effective as well i think i might go ahead and try to get longer range shots as we grab the frost level one so the farther out we can kind of freeze people the you know the more time the more likely we are to get out of the way of course i do start the game with the shield upgrade to the runes which makes my you know makes the game a little bit easier the shield will push enemies away if you end up having to pop it and i probably like i said won't make it to the 20 minute mark because i haven't played this game in quite some time but you know i i think the game is fun i like having a set time for each round um i think it makes it you know a lot easier to just play for a little while and then move on to something else which is why i like the game so much uh the glare might be good because every enemy within a certain distance takes damage and it makes our vision distance bigger. Um, so I might combo well with the shotgun. I'm always tempted to take spread, but I think I want to try to do damage instead of widespread to try and uh, get the most out of the curse ability. But, you know, a lot of kind of what build you end up going for depends on what items you get from the bosses if we can actually kill the bosses it might be kind of hard to do if we don't get uh smite um especially the uh, the deer box that charges you the short range build like this that's gonna be pretty hard so i don't know if i'll be able to pull it off oh uh, yeah we'll double the glare distance hopefully that's enough ah dang it there goes the shield so i'm gonna lose my speed buff um, but you know, it's not a big deal. It'll come back. I'm pretty sure the new smite tree also makes your shields come back quicker if you um, kill enemies with it. So that will be a, you know, I think that combo is really what's going to make this build. And unfortunately, we're already level seven and we've gotten none of the parts of the build I'm shooting for. This run might be kind of a loss. 
But, you know, that's kind of the nature of these random upgrade style games. Uh, still not what I want, but the reload rate is great because the more time you're shooting, the less likely you are to die. My favorite weapon in this game, especially if you're starting out, is just use the base character with the crossbow. I think the crossbow is a great learning weapon. You can spam it if you need to, but you can also hold it down and the charge shots, making it rather versatile. So you can do the charge shots for bosses if you're not being overrun. And then you do a build that focuses more on the upgrades that trigger events upon reloading. So Smite is a reloading event one. Um, the Frost Tree has shards that shoot out. If you um, if you're reloading, uh, there's one that like shoots bullets all around you for reloading, which is really good for the crossbow. As a crossbow penetrates all enemies, so shooting a circle around you that hits everybody is great for applying the, the freeze or the fire. So I think the crossbow is all around a really strong choice. At least in the patch I was playing previously, I don't know if they tweaked the damage or reduced it since then. And obviously, uh, this is a beta, so. The final game might be rather different than what you're seeing now. Oh, man, still not getting the smite. Um, oh, okay. So if they're in vision distance, they basically take the glare and, or do I want the reload? Um, I think I'm gonna take the reload for now, but this upgrade, the glare upgrade will be really nice later. Still haven't gotten the two abilities I really want for this build. The uh, one that the smite and then the one that makes it where every time you smite your shield comes back quicker. Um, so hopefully those come up soon because if we get to the deer and I don't have any of those I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them with such a short range weapon. Uh, I don't really want the extra two shots. Exploding enemies is nice. Um, Ooh, automatically assassinate enemies below 20 health. That would be pretty helpful for the boss. Yeah, that, that worked out great. Okay. And what do we get? Every time we heal, we get 15 increase. That's really nice because we have a lot of health and we heal every five levels due to runes that's not based in the game. And uh, we can pick up other upgrades that heal us. I think the new smite tree might have something like that. Oh, wow. I really don't want any of these. Um... I guess I'll go down magnetism because it makes getting levels a little bit easier. Especially later on in the game, you're not going to be able to stay in one spot. I've been doing a fairly good job of kind of kiting in a circle. Keep all my XP rather easy to get to, but that won't always be an option. So having that uh, magnetism early might pay off later in the game. Again though, I haven't seen that new upgrade. Is that it? No. One minute for shield respawn, that's pretty nice. Um, uh, we'll do glare damage. That should make it a little easier for us to stay alive. I wonder if the glare damage works with assassinate. I wonder if, um, oh, is, it, is glare just popping enemies by itself right now? That's really nice. Um, but these are the lowest um, HP enemies and we'll find ones that have a lot higher HP. Oh, and a big part of this game, too, I didn't mention before, is while you're shooting, you're much slower. That's why you kind of see me not shooting constantly. Oh, crap. The uh, deer's here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I don't know if I have the damage to kill him, and I don't think I'm good enough at the game to dodge him without something to help me. Um, guess we'll grab the damage and hope that's good enough. Yeah, this might be it. If I pull this off, I'd be very pleasantly surprised, but the reason why I typically don't use the shotgun is because I struggle so much with this this boss in particular with it. Um, but I thought the new upgrades might make it a lot easier to use, but we will see, as I did not get any of them, if I can still pull it off. Oh god. Yeah, he hits like a truck, and I am beans in it. But the interesting about this boss is it drops a tome that makes something worse and puts something else better. Oh, sweet, we got him. Ice shards, fantastic. That's one of the items or one of the upgrades I was looking for. Every time we shoot or we have to reload, we shoot three ice shards, it'll freeze things. 
this will give us a little bit more um a little more time because you know enemy enemies should be frozen that should help us with our movement um movement speed's not really what we're looking for bullet damage could be good because we could pick up the curse uh, fire rate's not a big deal because we only have a two clip anyways. Um, Book of Rage, we don't have a ton of rounds, so tripling them isn't a big upgrade. And shooting faster isn't really a big deal when we don't have many shots. So I'm going to go for the power one. Wow, our rounds are giant now. Um, ideally we'll get, there's not upgrade called the mini clip and that makes it we only have one round so the fire rate aspect won't matter at all if you actually find that one and it makes you reload super quick it will work really well with the smite and the ice shards um however we are still pretty sure we don't have the smite ability yet so hopefully it comes up for us sooner rather than later um yeah we'll take sniper that'll make our shots go really far um, it might just be worth pivoting into a like, fire and lightning build at this point because um, I really haven't gotten any of the things I want. Uh, yeah, we'll grab fire. Now that we're shooting so far, getting some hit damage in um, will be pretty nice. It, it wasn't great in the beginning as, you know, we didn't have a way of kind of hitting targets in the distance now that we're pretty consistently shooting outside of our vision range, fire might be a nice little additional damage. Oh, there it is. That must be the new one. Yep, smite. So every time we shoot our last shot, we do 20 damage to all enemies around us. That's very nice. Now we're freezing enemies when we end, and we're doing damage, plus if they get too close, we flare damage. So all that's kind of stacking, making it where it should be rather difficult for enemies to stay near us for very long. And hopefully we can get the additional upgrade that gives us shields. So uh, the shield should hopefully keep us alive. Um, none of the ones I want again. Okay, we can take lightning. Lightning's not bad. It'll strike roughly where your cursor is. So it's also kind of nice for boss fights because you can hold it over the boss and just kind of shoot and reliably at least get the lightning damage even if you're outside of your range of the shotgun. Or if there's a lot of uh, enemies in the way, you know, because they absorb the shots. Um, they're not absorbing the shots so much now. Um, I think the one room we have makes it our every one of our, or every third shot shoots through everybody. That helps a lot with that. Fireball is every fifth shot. Um, I think one of these heals us. Yeah. So fire tree might be good or we can go ahead and try to get the one minute refresh for the shield i think that might be better especially once we get to the enemies that take a lot more um, shots to kill i think our short range really might become a bit of a problem as well as these kind of range guys uh, not being able to get to them between body block and our short range also can be a real problem so just having Shield upgrades might really save us. Let's see. What is this? Pick up range and oh. Refills ammo. That could be nice. Burn damage is increased or shatter. Um, three of these are really good actually. Um the this one's just one plus extra health, but we have a ton of health already, so it's not super good for us. Um hmm. I think I might take, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the shatter with the freezes. As the nice thing about that is it'll kind of create this cascading effect, where hopefully, because enemies take extra damage when they're near us, if they get too close to us and they shatter, they should take extra damage. Hopefully is kind of like my mindset. I don't know if it works like that. What is this? Enemy killed, oh. That could give us instant reloads. What is this? Max HP for every 500. Yeah, we kind of need to get that. See, if we would have gotten that, like, upgrade two or three, um, we would obviously put a ton of enemies, plus Diamond already starts with a ton of health. Uh, we would we would have an absolute massive amount of health right now, but unfortunately, that's not what worked out. Um, Fireball could be nice. 40 damage, but this will do... I think our shots are doing what? 
vehicle. I don't know which one our shots are. I think our shots are the 50 something damage. So doing 200 times that after a second could be great with bosses, but yeah. Yeah, we just didn't get the upgrades we wanted early enough. Um, I do think the new smite is still a great choice with the shotgun due to the shotgun having only two shots. It would also be really good for um, the crossbow. But because of the short range nature of the shotgun, I think a smite glare kind of freeze build could work really well. Unfortunately, we just didn't get it early enough. But uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll do another run some other time.